Hello everybody, it's Rhonda. Welcome to my channel. I am here with a Hobby Lobby haul. Um, this was... I think I ended up going three times. The first time I went, um, it was the one that's like 15 minutes from me. And I picked up a few things and then... My daughter ended up going to the little neighboring town, which is probably about 20 or 25 minutes from me. So on that particular day, I rode with her because she was going to a store that was next to Hobby Lobby. So I picked up a few things there because they did have a few inks, but it was these here. So I was wanting the Tim Holtz ink, so the Hobby Lobby that's closest to me, what I did last week was I called uh, probably about three days just to check and see if they had their inks, their Tim Holtz inks on sale, and she said yes, so I ran up there to get those. So this is my little Hobby Lobby haul. Again, um, some ink pads, and this is the turquoise and teal. And then I did find these two Tim Holtz. They were one ninety nine. Well, this one was one nine one forty nine, one forty nine. So I got those, and. I did not want to pay this for this ink pad, but I had been watching it forever to see, you know, when they were going to mark down or either have these on sale. And um, they didn't. And this is like $6.99. And I have never, ever paid that much for an ink pad. But this mustard seed is a darker yellow. And I did have a yellow ink pad, but... When you stamped with it, you could hardly see the ink. So, this one is pretty, you know, dark. So, I got that. And besides these here, these were the only two Tim Holtz ink pads I had. And when I purchased these, it was probably about a year ago. And they had marked these down with the red tag. So, that's how I ended up getting these because, again... I do not like paying $6.99 for an ink pad. So, I picked up some scissors. These non-stick, I don't have any of those. So, I got these. They were $174. I don't have these with the bigger hole right here. They were only $0.69. Cent. And then I got these little precision. They're really for quilling, but... um. I thought I could still use them with my crafting. And I tried not to get anything that I really did not need or was not going to use. I got these two scripture stamps because they are good for my um, Bible and journaling. 112 and this one was 99 cents. I had seen Tina, who is Crafty Bean, she had found these little wobble things. And what you do, you attach one side to your paper or whatever. And then you put your little embellishment on the other side. And it makes it kind of move. So I thought this would be something cute to do in my journal. And I picked these little boxes up. They were only $0.24. Cent and... um. I do have a little idea for these. Not that I'm doing a baby shower. Um, picked up these paints. And I had purchased these also a while back when they had marked their paints down. So I had gotten a lot of colors the last time. But I don't think I had these two. So I got those. They were $0.57. Cents. Honeysuckle and marina and then i picked up a paper pad and i got this because not that where well, the pandas they are cute 
but mainly because of the rainbows this one here the flowers these rainbows here with rain coming out the polka dots this one here and I think it's three sheets of each um, another the little clouds with the rain these flowers here uh, there are some little dinosaurs this pattern here those are the little pandas and raindrops which I really wanted that this one and more flowers little unicorns probably won't use that these flowers here so pretty and then these rainbows here and then this one I picked these up for my little dangles and these were just 40% off I got these to do some little dangles with I picked these little bracelets, I mean, they're little rings, so got those, they were 99 cent. I picked up this little bracelet for me, and I am addicted to jewelry. Um, got these crosses to make some necklaces, and then I purchased these like I needed more but I'm trying to get my daughter into um, making like these little bracelets here and um, these were 174 and 199 I did a bunch of these for my little niece that passed um, in October and uh, I did her little nickname was 99 so it was 99 forever so back in October I made so many of these little bracelets um, to give out to everybody so that's what I want to try to um, get my daughter to do and just make little bracelets in general so I also found this which had the elastic beads in the little alphabets and it was only $249 I got diamond dots because I seen Tina also had picked some of these up and I had never seen these before um, in Hobby Lobby because I don't look for stuff like this but um, they can be used in shakers so I got the pink that green and blue there were a lot of other colors but I just picked these up because they looked at summery pick these notepads up um it, one is sermon notes one has just notes and one has prayers and notes and i wished i had gotten um there was another one that was left i think um because yesterday at church my pastor's wife was talking about doing a vision board with some of the ladies at church so i started talking to her about my journals and uh we just started talking and um she was saying that would be something good for the women to do and i have did journal journaling classes in church before but again this is a new pastor so we're going to try to get some things going there i picked up these flowers 149 got these little flowers here and i am going to be using these in my journal these little puffy birds also for my journal these were 74 cents these were 124. got two wink of stellas um the only one i have ever had was the white one and they didn't have that one marked down so i picked up the pink in the blue 
got these stickers for my journal and I thought they were real cute and I may have had these before but again these were 74 cent I've had these before uh, these were also marked down to 74 cent and then I got this paper pad not that I'm into unicorns and that, but some of these stickers are cute enough for my journal. Life is full of joy. I thought that one was, was real cute. And also to use the alphabet. The paper I probably won't be using, but the stickers and the alphabets and for a dollar and 49 cent you couldn't even get a pack of alphabets for that but this is for my journal and then I picked up these little dropper bottles because with these you can put like your paint in it and you kind of squeeze it and it makes like little droplets on your paper so got those they were 60 62 cent and then uh, from the Valentine stuff that was left, it was a good bit of stuff, but I didn't want to get anything that, again, that I was not going to use. But these were only 30 cents. And then I ended up paying 60 cents for these little Valentine um, envelopes. And I thought I saw where how many was in there but it's a good bit of them so i got those and then i picked up um a few little pieces of fabric i got this gingham this pink and then i got two pieces of the green so i'm thinking about making some little pillows with this so again this is my hobby lobby haul and I think I did pretty good because um, just some things that I didn't have and some things that I know that I will be using. And um, again, I am so glad that I got these little Tim Holtz inks. And that's it. So, I hope that you give this video a thumbs up. And I want to thank you for your support. I hope that you all have a great day. And I will talk with you later.